She's going to lose one stealth, which is fine. She's going to be a beast most of the time anyway. She's going to lose advantage on saving throws, but she's going to gain... This might stop her from casting spells, being able to change into an animal. Which it doesn't. Okay, so we go with that. That fits her more. Get rid of that hat. It looks terrible. There we go. That's better. That's much better. And you don't have any rings or necklaces, right? Okay. I didn't think we'd spectre out. I know what you mean about evil playthroughs. I really do want to do a Dark Urge playthrough, but I... I just have a horrible feeling that it... Unless you can fight it and try and go against it, I think that there will be some horrible things that happen when you do a Dark Urge. Shapeshifters, yes. That was going to go to... Yes, yes, yes. That was going to go to someone else, but... After a crit, you paralyze. Who crits a lot? No one. Karlak? Maybe. And Ring of Twilight for someone. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, plus D4 to all checks. That's really nice. Invisibility can go. Plus one to AC while you're obscured. Don't know if that's any good. Have it. What are you wearing as a necklace? Misty Step, you need that. I'm going to give you the crit one. Oh, you have boots of dash anyway, so that's no good because she dashes with the boots. Yeah, okay. Um, Shahira might dash as an animal. And it's better than being webbed. Center camp. Equip. Center camp. I could sell stuff. I could pick stuff up to sell. I'm not going to bother. Because... Never a dull moment. If we find a merchant that we want to buy stuff from, how much might we have? 14k. I'm back. Nice. If we find stuff that we want to buy, we'll just come back and sell. Dual scimitars are nice. Yeah, you've really got to build into dual wielding if you want to do it. But dual scimitars are very nice. Very elven as well. Right, what quest did I say we were going to do, having done Mr. <laughs> I can't remember. Statue of Tear. Should his sword be clipping through the... Uh... And he doesn't... He's missing a hand. Okay. Tears weird. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Uh, what's going on here? These street trash need to watch their tone. I don't tolerate disrespect. There's a fight going to go down here. I don't like this. I don't like the look in some of their eyes. Oh, they're just unconscious. We wake him up. The citizen is unconscious. He won't be waking up anytime soon. Can't be helped. You can't wake him up. Okay. Where are we?
It's that right. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Let's go see Helsick. And then we're going to loop back round and go to the murder trial thing. The murder tribunal. Because we might be able to do Orin. You think it's too much Faerunian ale? Maybe. I think one of the guards got spooked and clunked him around the side of the head. Because I don't trust any of the fist. It was hard to ten days ago. Not enough time in the day. You've got a problem. We keep walking past him, and we can't do anything with him. Hell sick. I remember where we are. This this city's such a maze. Try not to shriek. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what do you play? Hmm. Mostly the same children's rhyme. Battered whistle of tin. I do not get a lot of time to practice. Oh, spare me the sad eyes, girl. Not every daily deed is worthy of song. Certainly none I can play. Next playthrough, Kalak Romance, and as soon as we get Jahira, Jahira and Kalak in the party together, and Kalak just worshipping the ground that she walks on, right? Deal. The Devil's Fee. Wow, that is a big skull. Hellsick. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be, and shop with glee. Oh no. Definitely something up with this one. Trust me. <laughs> Let's see what you've got to offer. A most excellent decision. Great voice work. Big health potions. They're not that expensive, actually. Why are you selling a skull? Right, okay. Coin and time most fortuitously spent. Don't you... No. Stop it. Come back here. I'm not done with you. Oh, we're going round, are we? Okay, fair enough. Your esteemedness returns. Oh, joyous hour. What's that? Did you help Lord Gortash receive some hellish curios by chance? You must be awfully familiar with our esteemed Archduke to know about a thing like that. Mm. I am, very. Um... <laughs> um well, we were lovers. It was all very steamy. My, what a juicy morsel. Let's drop him in it. I think he liked your type. Anyway. Oh, he loves drow. Seek answers. Lord Big Man seeks coin. I will happily mediate. Make me an offer. Mammon. I knew it. I did. We've heard that name. <laughs> Do 
Toss a coin to the Diabolist. I'm not going to sing it. Uh, it's customary for any salesman to offer a free sample. Shadow Heart would help. I think Shadow Heart spent enough time with Todd to know when he's going to try and do something stupid. You know what? I'm just going to roll with it. That absolutely checks out. There's no fun in that. So I think not. Make an offer, mortal. Toss a coin to the Diabolist. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Quite the fitting token. Let it not be said that Lord Mammon's servant does not deal with paupers. But I'm afraid you'll need to offer an awful lot more than that. I'll be keeping the coin though, of course. Kalak has all of our soul coins. Right, I want to do two things with Kalak. First thing is sent out a soul coin. The second thing is see what the bust does. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. She was talking to Todd. Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. You... No, let's talk. My most perceptive... Oh, it's because we're all in... Yeah, okay. Customer. okay. Welcome back. Uh, all right, we cock that up, but still, curios don't interest me. I'm interested in the Hells themselves, a place called the House of Hope in particular. Truly? That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You stand before Mammon's Picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. Raphael told me the crown of Carsus was stolen from the Mistophilites. Were you involved with that? Lord Gortash wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles. So I Mephistopheles, punched a portal sorry. into the Archdevil's dusty vaults. And then I... Gosh, my fickle memory fails. If only something would jog it. She's good. Here's a hundred gold. <laughs> I, mean, I suppose that'll do. Stingy bastard. Gortash stole <laughs> like the crown of Carsus. Pissed off Mephistopheles, but rather intrigued another devil by the name Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather mm. ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. And my salvation. Let's poke around the rat's nest. Maybe set it on fire on the way out. I'd be okay with that. Can you break me into the House of Hope? What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. 
If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. Yeah, I know why you want to stop me. I don't have that kind of money. At the minute, we might need to sell everything we own. Waive the fee and I'll add one of Raphael's artifacts to your collection. We might need inspiration for this. Yeah, we're gonna burn as much inspiration as I possibly can. Oh, just, just. Uh, hey, Mark, welcome. Hope you're doing all right today. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail, almost. And so there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There okay. are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Nice. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Absolutely. Let's do this. Let's go. Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, oh, no, we did. You will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. I'm glad we're not paying for this service. Take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the <laughs> grimoire and components, Halsic hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone. Okay. First rule about Hell Club, don't talk about Hell Club. Opening a Hell Gate. To open the portal, you must place the ritual items in their proper places in the Blood Star. Place the skull on the star near the altar. Place the coin of Mammon on the next point to the right. Counterclockwise, skip a point and place the diamond on the next one. Place the incense on the point that follows the diamond. Finally, place the infernal marble at the center of the star. Game, I really hope you don't want me to remember any of that. Infernal transportation ritual to a furnace. Hopefully this will help Karlak as well. Being in a furnace, it'll slow everything down. Blood circle configuration. Place that which has no eyes but used to see at the western point of the circle. Two spaces lie oppose that point. On the left, place what is cut but cannot bleed. On the right, that which smells but cannot sniff. Oh, she's, she's transferred this into proper... Todd speak, good. Uh, inside the dead remains, face the aspect of da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah, don't care. I am going to get this wrong anyway, and we're going to end up somewhere else. Can't slow down. Yeah, I saw the option for special stuff. So you did this yesterday. My most perceptive, Mark. prospective customer. Welcome back. Show me the good stuff. When you make a spell attack roll, 
You can spend a sort of oh, we don't have sorcery points. Hey, fancy hat. Gain momentum equal to charisma modifier, and you gain advantage on constant. That's not bad, actually. Cloak of the Weave, absorb elements, plus... Mm. Caitiff's Restoration. Okay. Again, not amazing. Gemini Gloves. Cantrips targeting foes and allies can target an additional creature. Wow. Well, absolutely thousand percent warlock gloves. Uh, tentacles? No, that's the scroll of darkness. How much is it? No, I'm not paying that. That might be good. I'm not buying it. I know it's once per shot rest, I don't think that's good enough. We'll have them. They can go to Will. Now you've seen what I have for thee. Remember, discretion is key at the devil's fee. Something over there. You talking about that head again? Game, please show me what you talk about when when this stuff flashes up. That looks like gems. Let's let's do the ritual. I need to get this contract. I need to be free of Raphael. You haven't been to the hells just yet. Okay. The door is open. I strongly suggest that you reconsider this course of action. I strongly suggest you shut the fuck the up right now. Again from the hells is not worth the risk of traveling. I'm not listening to you. We've had so many conversations. Stop it, game. We, we should be good at this. Just because we don't have a starine anymore doesn't mean that we can't lock... Pick. Karlak, Infernal Marble. Is that anything for you? Curio shot my ass. This is an infernal item and hard to come by. That's why I gave it to you. Do we have guidance on? We do. Stop it, game. I don't have enough lockpicks to play this. Oh, motherfucker. Right. The fact that you can't craft lockpicks annoys me. And it was crap anyway. The loot in this game is terrible. I've very rare in Act 3 have I found anything worth having that I haven't bought. I'll have that. I'll have that. Why does she lock things when I'm just going to come up here and unlock them? You see, that's how it should go with all those buffs. Stop rolling bad. Mask of Soul Deception. Detect thoughts. Plus two to attack rolls, initiative rolls, and perception checks. I'll have that. Um, Carla can have that. She probably says something about... No, she didn't. Right, Carla, what are you wearing? 
Start a combat. Oh, that gives her the extra movement, but she has the dash. But is three gains momentum three turns, so it's an extra 1.5 meters, but plus two to attack rolls, initiative rolls, and perception. No, that's too good. Oh, but it makes you look silly. It's alright, we can just hide helmet, it's fine. I'm so torn on what our next character is going to be. What next? Kalak doesn't have the stuff. Do we have to manually put the stuff in the... Is there any sound sweeter than the jingle jangle of coins rubbing against coins? Of course, Mammon will hardly be sated by a mere pocket full of gold. No, I'm going to have to start being smarter about this. What I need is not just revenue, but multiple sources of it. If nothing else, to beat Carilla. Who's Carilla? Perhaps it's time to diversify the business. Not just curios, but information. Or even better, access. Oh, you're a genius, Helsic. Interesting. Do we have everything that we need? Oh. So that's not bad for her. That's good. For, yeah, that is good because she has such a high AC, people miss quite a lot. Yes, that's okay. Right, Todd, how do we turn this thing on? I have to do it, don't I? Oh, God. Oh god, right. Uh, everybody else, go stand it's over here. Way forward. I've got a long road ahead. That is the tip of the star. I'm already panicking. Place the skull. On the star point near the altar. Is that, uh, uh, is that the altar? Is that technically what we're calling the altar? Place the skull. Didn't even go there. Do I have to throw them? Because this could break it. Oh yeah, you got to throw them. Good to know. So, skull... Place the coin of Mammon on the next point to the right. Next point to the right. Counting clockwise, skip a point and place the diamond on the next one. Clockwise, diamond, skip a point, next one. Clockwise, skip a point, diamond. Put 
put the incense on the point that follows the diamond. Which way? Place the incense on the point that follows the diamond. Did you say clockwise? Follow the diamond. Save. This might go terribly wrong and we end up in some other dimension and die. So we have infernal marble left. And we have the hammer. Good. Finally, place the infernal marble on the center of the star. Group up. Kalak, are you sure you want to stand there? If this goes wrong... that work? No, because Karlak was in the way. Is that blood? No, never mind. No, can't. Right, you muppets. Bro. Oh, Emperor, I didn't reject the Devil's offer. I'm doing this to save my soul and shaft you as much as I can. Let's go. 